Hi there, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this nice opening powerpoint slide for your presentation. You'll learn how to insert a single image into several shapes and then we'll animate those shapes. But before we begin, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also click that notification bell so you don't miss my new tutorials, your support is very important for my small channel. And without wasting any more time, let's start the tutorial. Open up a blank slide. First, we'll need to set a background image. For that, right click on the slide and choose format background. This will open up a panel over on the right side. And in the panel, we'll need to click on picture or texture fill. Then let's click this button that says insert. And in the pop-up, I'm gonna select the image I want to use as the background for the slide. And then click insert. Perfect. Now we'll need to cover up the image with a white rectangle. So let's navigate up top and click on the shapes tool and in the menu select the rectangular shape and now just create a rectangle that would hide the background image. Let's get rid of the outline around the rectangle. For that in the format pane over on the right in the line section select no line and then would also want to change its fill color. In the fill section just click on the color tool and select white. Perfect, now to decorate this slide we're gonna add a few rectangles. So I'll head over to the shapes tool once again and select the rectangle. Then just create one. It doesn't have to be a certain size so you can always adjust it later. I'm gonna remove the outline and change its color to pink. Now hover over the rotate icon and rotate the rectangle by 45 degrees counterclockwise and place it on your slide like this. Then while it's still selected, hold down the command key or control key for Windows users and drag it to the side to make a copy. Place it like this and make sure it covers the bottom right corner of the slide. If it doesn't, just increase its size like this. Then let's change its color to dark blue. Now make one more copy and place it in the top left corner and change the rectangle's color to gray. And I want to make one more copy of the pink rectangle and send it backward to partially hide it under the gray rectangle. And then let's do the same with the blue rectangle. What we need to do next is to create a set of rounded rectangles that we're going to animate. Navigate to the shape menu again and this time select this rounded rectangle tool. Click anywhere on the slide to create a shape and now in the shape formats ribbon over on top just change its height to 11 and a half centimeters and width to 3 centimeters. Then pull this little yellow points to maximize its radius. Now create a copy by holding down the command key and pulling it over to the side. Change the height of the new rectangle to 18 centimeters. And place it like this. Then create one more copy and set its size to 20. The next one is going to be 16 centimeters in height. And one more shape with the height of 13 centimeters. Now we'll need to make sure the distance between all five shapes is equal, and to do that, we're gonna select them all. Then over up top in the shape formats ribbon, I'm gonna click on the align button, and in the drop down, I'm gonna select distribute horizontally. Now let's remove the outline around these shapes and then in the fill section we're gonna want to choose slide background fill. This is the image we added at the very beginning of the tutorial as the background for the slide. If we move the shapes on the slide they will adjust what part of the background image they use as their fill. Alright, now we need to group these five shapes by pressing command option G or control alt G on windows and rotate the group 45 degrees. And then place it on your slide like so. Then make sure you ungroup them, which would be command option shift G on your keyboard. And with all elements still selected, I'm gonna go over to the format shape pane and add some drop shadow to each shape. 
So let me switch to the shadow tab and in here we'll need to click on the process button and choose the first option which is outer bottom right. Now let's adjust the settings. I'm gonna set blur to 30 points and distance to 35 points. The rest of the sliders I'm gonna leave untouched. Alright, now let me quickly move a bit the two rectangles we have in the background. And now let's add some text for the slide's title. Let's have a quick look at what we have so far. It's looking beautiful and now we're ready to add animations to the slide. Let's switch over to the animation tab. We're gonna be using path animations to animate the shapes with the image. So let's select the first shape, then click on the button that says path animation and choose the draw line option. Now we'll need to click where we want the animation to start and holding down your mouse button, move the line across the shape and then release at the opposite side. You can already see what this animation is going to look like, but that's not yet final. We're going to adjust it a bit later. Now let's do the next shape. Once again, grab the draw line tool from the path animation menu, and this time draw the line bottom to top. And continue with the rest of the shapes, each time changing the direction of the path line. We've added path animation to all five shapes and now we need to make some correction to where the animation starts and finishes. Let's select the first shape and then I'm gonna click on this small red triangle. You should see a matching but faded shape appear. It shows us where the animation will stop and we need to move it to where we currently have our shape. So I'm gonna grab this faded shape near that small red point and move it right here. And now let's do the same with the next shape, but remember that it will be moving from bottom to top. So we need to move the faded shape down. And now let's quickly finish the other three shapes. Now we just need to adjust some animation settings. I'm gonna open up the animation pane which is this button right here. And now over on the right we'll need to select all five animations. Change their start setting to with previous. And let's set duration to one and a half second. Let's have a quick look. Let me lower it down to one second. That looks better. And now let's add animation to the title. I'm gonna select all three text boxes, then navigate up top to the animation ribbon and in here select the flying animation. Let's change its direction to from left. Each animation is going to start after previous. And in the effects option tab, I'm gonna activate smooth start and bounce and options. Let's run the slide. We have a small issue here with the order of the animation. Let's move the last text box animation to the very bottom. And now let's have a look at the final result. As always, I hope you learned something new. Please check my other tutorials on more cool stuff you can do in PowerPoint. Also, don't forget to like this video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Also, ring the notification bell so you don't miss my future uploads. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!